everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Again! I know, right? The series that will never, ever end because I won't let it die. Yes. So, we have a new sort of thingy, whatever this is called. Like, I keep forgetting. The, the grand premium of, of free, whatever this thing. The, it's called this time the Beastly Brunette. Because this is based or has the reward of the creature. I think it was Spinolithrax or something. I can't remember what it was called. It's a weird one, though. Uh, this is from Camp Cretaceous. Now, because... <laughs> he took my hair out. Um, because... What was it? Um, Jurassic World Evolution 2 has ceased sort of updates. I'm pretty sure that they're not doing that anymore. Because they're working on Jurassic World Evolution 3. Now, the only way to really get... You know, Chaos Theory Dinosaurs is in either Jurassic World the game or the one I no longer cover, Jurassic World Alive, because it got over bloated and paid too much pay to win. <laughs> anyway, so usually when they have these, they have like, um, they have their rewards. And when you get the rewards, normally if you get the grand premium, you get the creature straight away. You're all good. Actually, in fact, I think I might have it there. I, I've just realized it's behind this seasonal chance thing. Is it? Hold on. I was about... I was about to do a video, uh, having to unlock it. Um, it oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, that's me told. So I was scrolling through here going, hold on. Now, normally by the time you get to the end and you get all the rewards, you have seven of them. You need one more in order to unlock it uh, at level 40. And I was like, wait, hold on. I've got 3,500. I don't even have it. <gasps> and then I, I scrolled, scrubbed further. And I think you need about, yeah, 7,700 in order to hatch it. And I was thinking to myself, wait a minute, where's the next one? Oh, 12,000? 12, 12,500? And then 15,000. If you don't have it, you know, completely, uh, if you don't have the Grand Premium Pass. And I was thinking to myself, wait, how can we do this? How can we get it? You know, how can we unlock it? And I've got 3,850. So I need another 3,000-ish to get to 7,000, 3,200, whatever. But I was looking at the VIP seasons and going, so you speed up 25 times, okay. Spend 50,000 loyalty points, okay. Uh, complete 50 battles, yes. Hatch 25 Jurassics, yes. Use 55 herbivores, yes. And spend 2,500, yeah. I can do this. So, we're still doing it in this video. I want to get all of these except for complete 80 daily objectives. Because we're not going to be able to do that. Because hey, you only get 10 a day, I think. So, what what's the best way? We can use 55 her herbivore creatures in battle. And use 25 speed up. So, we're going to go for that one first. We need to find something that allows us to use our uh, herbivore creatures. And we obviously don't want to spend as many coins as we can. So here we go. This is 66,000. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. And it's allowing us to use our herbivore creatures. So we're just going to keep on doing this one. Normally, you can get lucky. And if you get lucky, you'll find battles that um, have no entry required. Like, they cost no coins, no nothing. We could do this in the battle infinite. That will always be one million per. But this one is, you know, 344,000 coin cheaper. Not that it really matters, but, uh, you know, we speed this up. We get three per battle. We need 25, I think it was. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, speed this up. We'll be right back once I've done all this, because this is very boring. <laughs> all right, that is use 55 herbivore creatures and use 25 speed ups. However... We also have complete 50 battles. And there's nothing else that we can maybe knock out at the same time, is there? Like, use carnivores from a different thing. Uh, not that I'm aware of. We're, we've got a lot of points to collect so far. So we need to spend 15,000 loyalty points. Let's have a look. Now, we do have this. What do we get in here? 5% chance for carbon emmys, Draco. I mean, we could go for that, but... I'm not that bothered. The best one we have is to spend DNA, which is super easy. So if we go in here, 15,000. And we could spend 10,000 on a solid gold. And then, you know, rattle off something else. I mean, solid gold's probably going to be our best one. If we go for this, 
We got 100 bucks in that, but solid gold gives us 500 bucks. So yeah, we'll do 10,000 in this. And we do get no bucks. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. But we do get some VIP points back. Now we have 5,000 left to spend. And I'm just going to do another uh, loyalty pack. Um, and we, unfortunately, we didn't get... Sorry, solid gold pack. We didn't get anything. Uh, we got a lot of coin. That's unfortunate. Now, our next reward or thing we need to get is spend 2,500 DNA. Now, we could buy something that's worth 2,500 DNA. But if you look closely, if you've got a big brain like me, you'll see that it says hatch 25 Jurassics. So... And luckily, I mean, we can collect that. We can collect all of the Indoraptors. <laughs> of course, we'll collect the Indoraptors first, won't we, darling? Yes. Uh, also, we'll have a mission uh, our daily just to spend some uh, food. There we go. So we've done that. We'll hatch the Indoraptors now. I can't believe I had so many Indoraptors ready to go. We have 10 Indoraptors. And one of them is a level 40. I think you can only have 12 though, right? 12's the max. Yeah, so a one-off max. Jesus. Now, we're not going to feed the other Indoraptors because it's better to, you know, wait for tomorrow or the day after and then we can feed them, get the mission. So, now we're going to go into here. We're going to hatch our Triceratops. We're going to speed it up. We're going to place it because that's already a mission. And because we've got so many, we do not need to worry. Uh... Now, if we click on herbivores, in fact, the, the best way to do this, to speed this up and get it as fast as possible, is to sell trike, sell trike, sell trike, sell trike, sell trike, sell trike. Lots of selling of the triceratops is here. And there we go. Is to stay in this enclosure. Because as soon as we've hatched the triceratops, and we go place, boom, there we go. And you don't have to go through the market. And if you've, you know, you've already got other creatures, you have to find the Triceratops in there. So we're just going to do this a couple of times. And we need 25 hatches. That's 2,500, I think, isn't it? Let's have a look. Where does it say? Season hatch 25 Jurassics. It's 100 each. So basically, that is equivalent to 2,500 DNA. So if you hatch 25 Triceratopses, you'll also do the hatch 25 Jurassics and spend 2,500 DNA. So we're basically going to do all the season missions in an hour, I would say. So we'll speed up and do this one. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll interrupt this speed up because we've got the Earl Officeaurus. And actually, I, I did mean to say, not only are you spending the 2,500 DNA and getting the hatching 25 Jurassics all in one mission, but you're also going to be selling all of those Triceratops, which means... You're not really spending 2,500 DNA. You are technically, but then you're gonna sell them all. So you're only spending about 1,750 DNA. That right? I think so. I think that's right. Nope, nope. That's definitely not right. That's 3,500 DNA, James. <laughs> you're spending 1,250 DNA in total. Oh God, oh God, oh God, no. You know what? This is also a really good way to just grind out the uh, code 19s. Okay, this time, this time, I won't get distracted. I won't get distracted. Let's see. De, de, de. There we go. I am smart. I swear. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I can count as six. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Look, see? Look. Look how pro I am. I would pass kindergarten. I mean, of course, the benefit for this is that you get super DNA. And I still haven't mentioned about why, you know, I wanted to do a video on why I've quit Jurassic World Alive. Um, and I will do, I've just, I've just been really busy with life and, of course, recording. And I also don't want to really make a video going, mm, this is why I'm not playing it anymore. So I want to spend some time... You know, and put some effort into that video and be like, this is the, really the reasons why. It's not just because I don't like it. It is bad game. Uh, I'm annoyed with it because there are proper reasons as to why I don't play Jurassic World Alive anymore. You know, and I spent loads of money on the game. It's not that I'm like, oh, well, it doesn't work anymore. Blah. It's just I, I gave the game so long. I gave it a certain period of time. It didn't change its ways. It doubled down. It got worse. They gave like extra resource grindy boost things to dinosaurs that were only there just to make them you know grindier more pay to win 
it was, it was just horrible. And in the end, I was like, you know, I've had enough. I've had enough of this. I can't I can't keep supporting. And there you go. If you wanted an abridged version of it, of that video that I will eventually do when I've got some time. Oh, another one. This is great. Not only are we, you know, cranking out all of these seasonal rewards that we need, but we're also, you know, getting DNA, extra DNA because of this. In fact, I would hazard a guess we might be in a, uh, a DNA positive if I'd managed to do all of these uh, code 19s. Because we're down, what, 1,250 DNA? And I've done three now of 300 DNA rewards. And yes, I did fudge up one of them. So, you know, if you did it properly, you wouldn't be stupid like me. And you would be on like 900 DNA? Maybe more, because sometimes it goes above 300. Sometimes it's gone like 800 I've seen in the past. So, I mean, this is 75. Here we go. Look at this already. There we go. So this was supposed to be 300. And we got 390, just like the last one. Okay. And you also get extra super DNA for doing it. Selling triceratops. Triceratop eye. Okay, what are we on now? Seasonal. So now, there we go. Look, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800. So it's about, you know, what? 4,000 and odd. Is it 4,000? Yeah, it's so something like that. Anyway, so we've got complete 50 battles. And of course, do the dailies. Um, purchase prize tickets, watch ads. We don't need to worry about that too much. We've also got all of this. Uh, I want to just quickly speed up completing 50 battles because that's super easy. We can just do what we were doing before. Oh, God. Special gyrosphere for Indominus Rex for a thousand bucks? You can jog on. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Rubbish. And you know what it is? That's why I like this game so much. Because I can get a lot done in such a short period of time. Look at this. Imagine if you had missions. I mean, if you will, in Jurassic World Live. And it was like, do 50 battles. Imagine that. That would take you hours, possibly, to do that. I, in fact, no, it will take you hours. Look at this. Boom. Boom. Streamline. Beautiful. Love this game. It's brilliant. <laughs> and the final battle. 11. There we go. And we should now have done all of it. Okay, let's just claim. Oh, God. Okay, claim. 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 Okay, so how much is that? We need 15,000 to complete the event, and we're on 9,160. Uh, we'll just quickly claim some of these as well, because why not? Just boost us a little bit, as well as the dailies. And apparently yesterday I didn't do the dailies either. These are the best ones, because you get extra resources from these ones. These are yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So, let's see. Unfortunately, they have gone a bit lazy with this reward scheme because they still have blue running and not like a specific dinosaur. They have changed it in the past. But there we go. The whole season reward, basically, completed in, I don't know, like 20 minutes. <laughs> Which is great because now we got a free brunette. And we can place it. There she is. Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's the Spinosaur animation. <laughs> but because it's the Spinosaur animation, they've had to, um, what'd you call it? They've had to, uh, like, scale it to be the same bones as a Spinosaur. So this thing looks so odd. <laughs> like, they couldn't make a new animation for it. They were like... Here's the model. We've taken it from something else. You know, the actual show, maybe. And just just stretch out the arms, stretch out the legs, and, and there you have it. Wow. Okay, so I'm assuming it's just the same eating animation. <laughs> Look how high it is. Oh, my God. It's really cool, though. Like, the, the level of detail on the, uh, the actual model itself is great. But it is just very obvious what has happened here. And that is that Ludio Jam City went can't be bothered to pay animators to reanimate like a new animation for it. To be fair, fair enough, unless you've got, you know, a category of new dinosaurs coming that could use the animation. That's the best way. But at the same time, it's not so bad. It's kind of freaky looking. I kind of vibe with it. Brunette is one of the two Beckel Spinax twins. That was it. So if you haven't seen Chaos Theory Season 1, that's where you'll find it. And it's actually kind of scary in that scene. Because... These two Beckel Spinexes are released into a city where it's filled with people with dinosaur PTSD. 
Which seems a bit odd and a bit harsh. I don't know about you, but yeah, anyway. So we have another one to make as well. So pass reward 5,000. Oh, well, we've definitely done that. So we can activate this. We can get a level 20 Beckel Spinax because I have so many of these fusions. Let's see what you look like. I mean, I think because you're a celebrity dinosaur, yeah, you don't change at all. You just get a little bit of what is it? Haze around the back of it. So I'm I'm wondering if we'll get what'd you call it? Uh, the other twin. I don't even I didn't even know they had names. Bagel Spinax are a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period. Is that right? So where's the next one? Five thousand apparently was where you get another one. I didn't even realize. Oh, that's where you get it for the first time. Now, if we can get another one. Let's have a look. Does it say? 12,000. Damn. Damn. So close. So close. If we could get one more, we could get a level 30. But there's no real need to waste on that. So we do have a Indominus Rex Gen 2 tournament coming up soon? It looked like it was coming up soon. Was that only for VIPs, though? No, it's not. In two days, Indominus Rex Gen 2. And some guaranteed 500 bucks. Okay, a good tournament to do. First time we're seeing, I think, I, I think, a non-tournament creature in a tournament. Very interesting. They're, they're starting to change this up. I like it. Oh! Oh, what's this for? A common. Okay, we've got to do this. Let's see. Carnivores. There is a Nosaurus, Nazutoceratops, and another Nazutoceratops. But don't let that fool you. They have 4,600 attack each, basically. What happens when you have the battle stage infinites is... The lower the dinosaurs, like the rank, like common or rare, the higher their attack is. And it's it's kind of scary because the way the commons are like leveled up to level 2000 means that their attack is really high. So, uh, I mean, really, we don't need to worry. I, I would put in Udon first and then, and then that'll do. I mean, you... I mean, the 27,000 health on the Thera. I think we're good. I think we're good here. The strategy is basically wait it out. Just go for reserves. There's nothing it can do to start with. I mean, even if it goes for four attack, it maybe does like 11 to 12,000 damage, but I'm still surviving it. So here we go in second turn, basically, and we've got our four reserve and two block. Perfect. Also, I'm recording my face cam as a new quality. I was sick of like, why is my face cam not the best quality? <laughs> it's a good camera. Uh, so hopefully you might notice a difference. You might not because it's already very small in the corner anyway. Uh, that was not good. That was terrible. Okay. Still, I don't think four can kill me. Right. So even though I made that mistake, well, we're going to go for two reserve, two block. We don't need to worry about this at all. Banana fingies. Also, I, I saw the other day, so it was a creator um, who does Creatures of Sonoria mentioned me in one of his videos. Bas basically, the video, just saying thank you. Uh, but his name, uh, he named, oh my god, four block, really? The whole name of his channel was Fluffy, and he's called himself Fluffy on everything. That's all because I named something Fluffy in this game. <laughs> Which is crazy! The the trickle down effect that I don't even realize happens. Oh come on, will you stop it? Jesus! The most blocked and reserved I've ever seen a pot. I mean we are winning. I just don't like to, you know, not kill it in one one uh, attack turn. So six? What are you gonna do? Three! Okay, okay. Alright, so one, two, factor in two, and then we got four anyway, so that's... Oh, what? Okay, it is dead, though. It is dead. It's almost like I meant for that to happen. And in comes Red Bull! Remember Red Bull? Red Bull! <laughs> right, you've got a lot. We'll factor in two just in case, because that's all we... Oh, and it kills it! Bam! Yeah, 2,200. Uh, it's gonna have six. Can it kill me? Oh, I think it does! Bam! 27,000 damage. Brings in Udon with even more attack. 
And we didn't even need Chroma Spinus, I think it is. Six. Bam! 65,000. And the easiest pack win we've ever gotten. And do we get books? Oh, we get 50 bucks and some DNA. Brilliant. So basically, this whole episode, I'm down VIP points, probably. I'm up books. I'm up DNA. And if I wanted to, we could collect all of this. All of this. Do we have a mission to open packs? Because that can sometimes be one. So we need to hatch one Charlie, which is a bit odd. But, wow. Yeah, we, ba we basically completed the entire event. In, like, 20 minutes. Let's see what else we've got to collect. Uh, is there anything in the trade harbor? Cooler sutures? Interesting. Okay, Spinosaur. The Platycerapus. I think that's a tournament. I think Platycerapus is a tournament. Yeah, I, was, I thought I broke the computer again. It wouldn't be the first time. I was like, jump blue screen. Oh, my God. Are you a tournament creature? Yes. That's not bad, actually. We should feed you. I never go in the lagoon. And it has some of the coolest eating animations out there. Look at this. It's so good. Please don't be like 3 FPS. I hope it's not. <laughs> oh, God. That one time. The one time. And the thing is, I'm always a bit hesitant to level up creatures now. I think level 20 is the is the the minimum, I think. You know, well let's get you you know what? Let's get you up. Let's get you up. We're a tournament creature, you probably take ages. I've got loads of those to do. Let's feed you to level 20. And we haven't had a new creature in the uh, the harbor. In fact, maybe in Ludia Jam City, they saw my video of like this is going to be the future of like, tournament creatures. And then they went, scrap it. He's, he's caught on to what we were going to do. <laughs> Platyceropus has different types of scales all over its body. Some are good for swimming, some for defense, and some for attack. It's like Path of Titans. You can switch and choose which scale it has equipped, depending on what it wants to do. Uh, is there anything else that we have? Like, like did I ever get non capristis at level 40? I don't think I have. But at the same time... Oh, hold on, hold on. If we go into here, and we go into Get Dino, it will tell me. Borea Pelter! Ooh! Level 30 could be pretty decent. Oh, I remember Adestus? Or Adustus when we leveled that thing up? That was a video, right? I remember that. We did some, we did a cool edit for when we leveled that thing up. Or got it once, because freaking it's terrifying. Um... I mean, any of these, we could probably level up the tournament creatures, and we don't need to worry about it too much, I would say. But at the same time, we've got like a week now to think about it, and then by the time it's about to clock over, we could just use them. So at least they're not wasted that way. The same with the, uh, the instant recovery that we could do, but there's nothing really that I need. Enhanced VIP prizes, better rewards, it's 250 bucks to enter, and... Would I trade 250 bucks for one of these in the trade harbor? Probably not. Not worth it in my in my book. So if Ludia really wants to have something and want to change things, the the, the whole gyrosphere thing needs to be reevaluated. Oh, we have a boss. Oh. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's do the boss. It's Halloween. How did I forget that it was Halloween already? Oh my god, we're doing so much. <laughs> In fact, actually, it should be Halloween tomorrow, I think. Um, but let's celebrate early with, I don't know, our top three uh, amphibians. Let's see how far we can go with them. Yes. Instant death for you. Because if we do this, we actually get loads of DNA. I forgot about that. God, I remember when these first came out. I did a video where... I, I I pretended to time travel. Does anybody remember this? When I fought all the bosses. So I had to plan ahead. Months in, a, in advance. So I would record the video. Fighting a boss. And that would be the video of that day. And then I would record another video. Pretending that I came back in time. And we're like, oh wow. And I'd have to pretend like, oh these are the creatures I had back then? Whoa, that's so weird. I only had this guy level what? I can't, I can't believe I did that. 
<laughs> it's kind of big brain. Big brain when I think about it. And then when the next creature would come out, I would do it again. And then I would do it again. Um, and if I think about it, I should have pretended or had some sort of button appear in the game to be like, whoa, time machine button? That's weird. I wonder what happens if I click on it. <laughs> like, now that's what I would do. But back then, I was like, you know, it was enough to do an effect and be like, we're going back in time, guys. Woo! <laughs> what level can we get this to? I wonder. Because really, when it comes to these boss battles, the only important thing that you remember to do is just do as much damage to it as you can. Oh, level seven! Whoopash! Bam! 5,000 damage. Beautiful. Maybe we'll split this video up. I don't know. Should we? Or should we just have it as one video? Nah, we'll put it all in one video. We don't, we don't need to split things up. We're not, we're not in the, the, the old days of grinding for stuff anymore. We're level six, actually. You know what it is? Oh, wait, what? Bagiosaurus has more attack and it's only level 30. We should get that level 40. Because I think that's one of the best, right? I think that's the best amphibian in the game for attack. But these guys are level 40 already. Oh, seven. Oh, is that going to be enough? Oh, 5,000 damage, though. Okay, so I could basically go for this. And I think he didn't block. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's see how far we can go. Oh, he had more. That was stupid of me, wasn't it? Um, oh, never mind. Okay, okay. And it's nice to see a different battle arena. I like it. So we'll go for that. Also, they've got different logos in the background, like the coffee sign, which makes sense, right? Because that's one of the buildings you can make in Jurassic World, the game. So it's like, oh, you're down here, you know, in the main street, in the park. I still... I remember there was a glitch ages, years and years and years ago where somebody got the camera down in first person and it looked like you were in the park. I don't, and it, but you couldn't move it. But it just, to me, showed, you know, what this game could achieve if it wanted to. You know, like, oh, how about you take a tour of your park? How cool is that? Just had a skybox, you know? But of course, yeah, it's going to be... I, I think the whole like park builder aspect of this thing, it just doesn't exist. Seven? Okay, okay, well, you want it dead? That's fine, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> right, so we have to go for two. I don't know if it had a block, but there we go. We need more damage. We need more damage output. I think if you get it to level 15, that does... That's the max for one of the missions to get to level, like the boss to level 15. Right. Okay. So we have to go for four here. So four reserves for attack. Because it might have two block, which it did go for. <laughs> oh, big brain plays. Remember, always factor in the two. I'm so smart. So, I, I mean, I've done this for how many years now? Nine years? Yeah. I mean, if I haven't picked up on something in those nine years, there's something wrong. So he went for an all-out attack. Okay. So I could have probably guessed that he would go for that. And maybe predicted it. And at least have negated one or two of those attacks. And that would have saved a ton of health. So that would have been a smarter play there. Predict him. Right. So it's got four. It won't go for any attack. Oh, no, it does. Okay. Well, we have survived. That's great. Because we still kill it in two hits. So we have to go for four reserve. Four attack, because it's probably got two block. Oh, we didn't. Ah. Well, we're definitely dead next turn. Can we get level 50? It might be a push. Because I think it'll go for an all-out attack now with six. Oh, no, it's only got four. Okay. Right. So two kills it. Factor in two anyway. Four reserve. I'm not worried. It's probably going to kill me next turn anyway. But I just want to make sure that my final creature has eight, like, reserve right off the bat. Level 13. Can we get to level 50? Can we do it? Do you remember when it used to double every time? So the attack would double and the health would double. So by the time you got to stage five, it was ludicrous. They, they, they're not doing that anymore, which is a bit of a shame. All right. So one, two, and then... That'll do. Okay. 
Just one more takedown. If we can get to level 16, I'll be happy, because then we've at least taken down level 15. Oh, the Halloween special episode where we get brunette and which definitely killed actually a lot of people, which is kind of terrifying. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, there we go. So we factored in the two, killed it. We factored in two block to negate and at least keep some health because this guy doesn't have too much health. He's only level 30. But really, it's all about getting DNA. That's what we need is the DNA. Okay, so we may as well go for an all-out attack here, right? One, two kills it. One, two. Maybe two block just in case. I don't think I'm going to survive because it's going to have eight and I think six kills me. But at least there we go. Two, oh, sorry, three of my best creatures takes it to level 16 and I definitely could have played smarter. But I just wasn't thinking. And, you know, I'm not going to do this again. With the eight attack finishing it on a high... 10,000 damage. What's this guy called? Alpha? Alpha 07 or something, is it? I remember seeing it uh, on the screen for a brief second. So 156,000. So how much do we get for this? 30 DNA. 100 DNA. 150. 130. 330. 630. 1,050. 1,800. 2,800. 3,000... Ah, oh, I, I don't know. 3,000 3, something. <laughs> so all of that for one battle. 3,000 DNA? I mean, what would that buy you in the market? Let's go uh, all Jurassics. Let's see. I don't know. Am I able? Like 3,000 odd DNA? Uh, it's a roundabout. A legendary for one battle. That's not bad at all. And then, of course, uh, we've got all of this super DNA. It was level 10, actually, that we collect for doing that as well. And there you have it. I'll put something... I don't know. We'll put, always, always make sure you do use that free incubator to, to get something. And until next time, thank you again for joining our Jurassic World The Game podcast. It's lovely seeing you here. Maybe I'll see you in the next one. Episode 500 and odd. Really, we should be on episode 600 to 700 because I did aquatic and glaciers separate things and I didn't combine them all because I'm not going back through and relabeling them all. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. And it's sort of, you know, a history, right? Like when I decided to cut all of that, what happened? What changed? Not that anyone's going to go back and see them. Maybe you will. You'll be like, ah, okay, that's what happened. But anyway, guys, thank you again for your continued support. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.